He's looking kind of hot. Amazon running anti-union ads, please. Azan, wow, shocked to find out. Birmingham team. Hold on, we'll we'll look at this first. Amazon is running glossy anti-union ads to combat the organizing drive uh, by workers at the Bessemer, Alabama warehouse. An Alabama resident said this spot is one of several Amazon that Amazon is now running on Twitch. <gasps> oh my channel. God, I can't believe that. Amazon, how are you doing this? Okay, so we will watch this. And then I haven't talked about the uh, Alabama warehouse initiative so far, which I should be doing, uh, which I will be doing uh, today. You have Amazon. a great leadership. We really don't need anyone coming in and telling us what they want to give us because basically we have everything we need here. Always want it to work for Amazon. This is the only place I've seen that have benefits from day one. There's no waiting period. You got chances to advance. You vote no for the union. I will vote no. It's not needed. Vote no, we can do it without the dues. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hostage situation? No. No, it's not a fucking hostage situation. That's a situation in which, you know, it's a fucking scab, dude. And that's a rat. That's it. Do it without dudes. Yeah. This is like some ISIS shit. No, dude. Guys, crabs in a fucking bucket, okay? Crabs in a fucking bucket. This is not some fucking ISIS shit at all. There are people who legitimately... There are people who legitimately think like, you know, this is, um, this is a better way. Like they, they unironically believe that like, uh, you know, unions are bad. They've been served that garbage for so long. The anti-union videos Amazon shows are creepy. How much do you think she got paid for this video? I don't know, but the irony is, oftentimes these videos are literally shot by union do, uh, union do paying fucking yeah. Screen Actors Guild and like uh, production assistants that are literally a part of fucking unions. So that I find to be relatively ironic. Okay. The RNC opened last year with an anti-union teacher. This shit is pervasive. Yeah, exactly. It's. It is, you will find more people in the working class that are, you will find more people in the working class that are anti-union that are fucking union at this stage. There's a reason why we only have, are there any WAPA articles about this? Actually, you know what? I want to know if, why, I'm sure Washington Post has covered this. There's no fucking way. If they haven't, that's really, it is really fucked up. Amazon literally hires an intelligence task force to spy on his employees and find out who's trying to organize. Yeah, I don't know. What are union dues? Do you have any control over the types of ads that get run on your channel? No, but I also don't give a shit what, like... I mean, military ads run on my channel literally all the time, nonstop. What do you think, like, fucking, are you guys gonna go uh, join now? See, they're covering it. There's no way they wouldn't, dude. It doesn't actually... Bruh. Um, Amazon is uh doing an anti-union blitz. I need to be called Vitamin Simona. Thank you. Uh, and uh, they're stalking Alabama warehouse workers everywhere, even the bathroom. Uh, and also running ads on Twitch that are anti-union. But they fire employees who watch you. No. There's a reason why, um, there's a reason why there's a multi-million dollar industry out there that specifically combats unionization efforts because companies would rather drop a couple million to make sure that fucking lawyers come in and scare you and deter you away from unionization while still trying to work within the, uh, while still trying to work within the legal framework uh, that is completely crippled to begin with that should make it easier for you to be able to unionize in your workplace because... That is a cost they're willing to fucking drop because, hey, that pays off in dividends. Uh, that's a great return on your investment if you stop employees from being able to unionize. Um, they, they, yeah, I heard that they were controlling the traffic lights so the union organizers couldn't talk to the employees. Um, they also wanted to pay the employees to quit right before the critical union vote, telling them that they could get $2,000 to $5,000. Like, literally, 
within the legal framework. Okay? I have personally been fired by Amazon before I started watching you using the rhetoric you use. Yeah. But here's the reality. Most people that you see talking about workers' rights on the internet or like talking about fucking, uh, you know, liberal elites and like uh, fucking cancel culture and shit like that don't actually care about this shit. This is actually a corporation that is supposedly leftist, by the way, supposedly socialist uh, uh, leftist corporation, literally doing everything they can to fuck over their workers. Okay? This is a real workers' rights uh, problem. I like that part of this, by the way, I love that part of the, uh, part of the thing that they're saying now in Amazon is, uh, is that they're touting $15 minimum wage. <laughs> they're touting $15 wages. Oh yeah. Who, th how the fuck do they have $15 wages? What you think that happened because Jeff Bezos was like, we got to pay our employees $15. Is that how it happened? I'm surprised that like. I'm surprised that they're, they're so woke. I mean, come on, we're paying $15 in, in wages. Are you, are you crazy? Amazon straight up ruins cape item trimming scamming its employees. I'm not choked deal. Anyway. Oh, dude, did someone say that? Why don't you? Oh, here it is. Here it is. I understand how Twitch streaming is a monopoly and the this only the other way to try and build your streaming brand career. On the job. Uh, but not the, but now that you are big, why are you not using your own site hosting service? Aren't you well enough to not support Amazon anymore? Actual question. Um, the, the mentality of the mentality of like, a, of like a leftist person on the internet is always going to be remarkable to me. Because the actual question is so fucking hilarious. Who's going to host uh, the, the hosting uh, site? How am I? Am I not going to rely on Amazon Web Services then? How, how does that work? Am I going to go to uh, the, the boutique web service uh, host, hoster uh, Microsoft? Is that where I'm going to go? The, the uh, non-exploitative... What's up? What, what do I do there? No, there's other competitors with co-op values or green values. Yeah, okay, dude. Thanks, Ajahn. You have inspired me to get a PhD in economics. Unfortunately, leftists really don't understand shit like this. I know. He wants you to Joe Rogan it. You think Joe Rogan is independent in that regard? Motherfucker got like a hundred million dollar deal from Spotify. You think Joe Rogan is like hosting his own shit? What are you crazy? No, most people don't care about this sort of shit. Okay, most people don't even why treat this, this kind of take seriously. The only reason why I'm treating it seriously instead of laughing it off and moving on is because there are people who unironically have this wonderful uh, point of view, uh, and and there are others who use this as a counter a lot of times, like other streamers and other content creators who think this is like a good own. So I'm just repeating. Uh, repeating my position here so you get a better understanding of where I'm coming from so you know you don't get fucking uh, idiots to uh, own you in the marketplace of ideas by saying that you can just stream on discord and we can all watch for free with no ads anyway You do more good here because of your, uh, because of your more new viewers coming in here than you streaming on some shitty platform. I agree, but you know.
No shade, but people need to understand how heavy of server costs live streaming requires. Anything beyond very small traffic would cost an insane amount and probably would end up being provided by AWS anyway. Yeah. It'd be really funny if I'd like tried well, to work with a smaller months, place that had to outsource the AWS because they couldn't fucking handle the, the load and then end up giving money to Amazon uh, no matter what. It's easy. Just spend thousands of hours creating your own web server. The site, the host that on that server, effective compression to live, send your feed out, complete support, compete, complete support for users building the server stack. What else? Yeah, okay, dude. Nice response, bro. To Desk is a green company and allows unions unlike your uncle. What the fuck is To Desk? Better support. They're a supplier of service management software from uh, Netherlands in 1997. The company has more than 700 employees. What is this? Get service departments working together. Easily connect customers and exceed their expectations every single time. Enterprise management. No, that guy's not a leftist, by the way. That guy's just a fucking idiot. Anyone who says shit like that... Unlike your uncle or whatever the fuck, which by the way, I, I think, I don't know, but I think the Young Turks is now unionized. Like they, they already did. The fact that they're willing to pay 2k to any worker who quits and using ad text to show how significant this is. No, it absolutely is. UIT has a union, but, uh, you know. That is not going to uh, stop people from saying Posture like, oh, you're fucking Pico union Posture buster or whatever. Pico just Pico like Pico. people still say like, Pico. I deny the Armenian genocide or some shit. Because again, motherfuckers are out here not actually trying to solve problems, but uh, but instead just trying to, you know, well, win a conversation, win an argument. The more I watched because I agreed with your takes, the more I liked you and I was gifted a sub and now I guess I like you now. So I'll resub, I guess. You did it. You converted me. Nice. Hell yeah. Okay, so... Amazon purposely located this plan in Alabama because it has a right-to-work state. Do you have any idea the balls it takes for the employees to vote in union in Alabama? I live in Birmingham. And it will never happen, but these employees deserve many props. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Surely it's better to use a company you don't agree with to get your message out to a larger number of people than reject the systems in place and scream at a wall hoping people hear you. Um, yeah, no, it is. Like, people that say, just, uh, just start a competing business to a monopoly like Amazon while still relying on uh, half the other back-end services that Amazon uh, offers are so silly because Microsoft couldn't do that to Amazon. How the fuck is Hasanabi going to do that? Like, it's just insane to assume that I could just, like, build my own fucking, uh, build my own, uh, website and, 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 uh, all this other shit. Like, it, it's, it's ridiculous. Anyway. Okay, Amazon's paying employees to quit right before the critical union vote. Employees are being offered thousands of dollars to leave and never work for Amazon again weeks before the historic union election. Um, they are uh, being paid, uh, they're being offered at least $1,000 to quit their jobs that could threaten a unionization drive in Bessemer, Alabama. On Sunday, there were concerns on Twitter that the drive was specifically targeted at Bessemer Warehouse, but Amazon runs this program nationally and has for years. This year's program and internal documentation spelling it out was first reported by labor reporter Kim Kelly. We love that you're part of the team, but if you have goals outside of Amazon, we want to support you. A handout obtained by Kelly says. That's why we have a voluntary resignation program called The Offer. An exit bonus starting at $1,000 based on how many peaks you've worked. Regardless of its national scope, if workers in Bessemer who are supportive of the union take it, the drive there could be threatened. A research and found out that they do it a lot of facilities and whatnot, but it was a good time to do it now in Bessemer. That could hurt the votes. Michael Foster, one of the leaders of the Bessemer union drive, told Motherboard. If they quit, the vote won't count. To me, it's just to prevent the people from getting the union in. They need to thin out some people. It's kind of a polite way to do it. 
The program is an annual one done each February. Bessemer's warehouse opened in March, so this is the first run in with the buyout. The program is first mentioned in the 2014 letter to shareholders, then dubbed pay to quit, but as the letter states, invented by the clever people at Zappos, which was acquired by Amazon in 2009, it's now called the offer as it was at Zappos. In a 2008 essay reviewing the practice, Harvard Business Review framed the tactic as a way for Zappos to filter out those who don't have the sense of commitment they are looking for. Amazon adopted a similar tune in its 2014 shareholder letter, saying that it made this offer to encourage folks to take a moment and think about what they really want. What really mattered, Amazon added, was that an employee staying somewhere they don't want to be isn't healthy for the employee or the company. To that end, Amazon offers 2000 for one to, uh, to two peaks at Amazon, employment on or before December uh, 1st, and an additional $1,000 each year until you reach 5000 Love that it caps out at 5000 by the way. Amazon has a number of different opportunities that are designed to help employees achieve their purse. Like, why don't they just give $1,000 extra in a bonus regardless when you reach peak? Only if you quit that they give it to you. Well, apparently they have the offering out there. Like, they are able to do that. I know some people will take the offer, but since one case is just a one-time payment, will it actually be effective? Um, it's literally, it's, it's, it's effective because if you're working at an Amazon distribution facility, $1,000 is a fuckload of money. A one-time payment of $1,000 could help uh, pay your rent that month. You know what I mean? Like, and if you can't pay your rent right now, then you'll fucking take it. But then you have no job. I know, but for some people, they're like, okay, well, I will have no job, but, uh, but I have a thousand dollars that I can finally fucking pay my rent so I don't have to be homeless again. McDonald's, the secretive Intel team spies on fight for 15 workers, internal documents show. Yeah, but this is, If you're in a right to work state, they're going to fire you anyway after they find someone to replace you. No, absolutely. That is, by the way, that's Republicans, baby. Right to work. Look at how wonderfully they have, uh, they have, uh, tailored that by the way, this, the, the way that they describe a right to work is so good and so fucking cool. Um, So the National Right to Work Legal Defense Foundation <laughs> describes big labor's top 10 special privileges. Okay, this is a like a, a psychotic. So this is the boring stuff behind. You know when I always talk about Alec for example, uh and and like the Koch brothers and all this other shit like this is what they're working on behind closed doors, the American Legislative Exchange Council, Alec, and, and all these other psychotic right-wing think tanks, and, and even, you know, liberals also uh, take advantage of this. This is what they are doing, okay? This is how they are creating the comfortable padding to ensure that uh, you never actually end up getting uh, paid what you are worth, and you never have a way to fight back, okay? Like, I think it's fair. I think it's fair to offer workers, even if you are the most capitalist motherfucker on the planet, it is absolutely fair to offer workers a chance to have a say, to have a seat at the table and to have a say. And the only way to do that is by organizing workers. Okay. There's no other way to do that. There is absolutely no other fucking way to do that. I'm not saying labor unions in America currently are perfect. Okay. They're not. There are plenty of issues with labor unions in the United States of America as it is currently. A lot of that stems from the fact that they uh, have been eviscerated, abused, and completely crippled, and now have functionally no power. Okay? But these are the motherfuckers behind the scenes that do all of the work. So... The National Right to Work uh, Foundation works solely with the courts to assist employees whose human or civil rights have been violated by abuses of compulsory unionism. 
compulsory unionism. Like, like it is actually a violation of your civil rights to, to uh, force you into a union. Okay? I work in con construction, get paid less than 15% of what my employer does for my labor. Well, uh, according to the uh, uh, Labor Bureau statistics, unions are the reason why even non-union employ non-unionized employees make, I think, around 10% more. But definitely, unionized employees make 10% more in uh, in competitive fields where they're uh, in with respect to their non-union counterparts. Isn't it democratic to give people a choice whether or not to join? No, it's not because people make dumb fucking mistakes and dumb choices. And in a lot of circumstances, they don't even have a fucking say in this uh, respect. No, fuck it. No, it is not democratic to give people a fucking choice. Okay. Because the alternative is not one in which you have a say. You will be forced to join this democratically formed organization. I mean, yeah. Yeah. You're not giving a choice to people. What you're basically stating is unions steal your money. They don't help you out lying because you have all the fucking power or okay. And then the alternative in that situation is not that you have the choice to still get the benefits and amenities that you would get if your union was fighting alongside uh, you or fighting for your rights. The alternative is the company does whatever the fuck they want. I say this all the time. It's like, if corruption is a constant, right? I would rather have a corrupt force have some modicum of power in the conversation that is at least supposed to operate at the behest of the workers. Do you understand? You are describing being born as an American citizen, lives in cons, can't comprehend freedom. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it, it, I mean, libertarian, like Rothbard and other libertarians have made this argument, right? It's Rothbard, right? Uh, the, that you should be able to consent to uh, being enslaved. Why is there a law around that? Why is there, why is, why can't you just consent to being enslaved right now? That's not, that's undemocratic. So the argument that like um, it's undemocratic to uh, to force people into compulsory unionism is the same as uh, your uh, like being able to throw away your rights to fucking be a slave. This is an argument that capitalists and reactionary right wingers engage in all the time. They try to use the well-intentioned liberal point of view that you have okay that you have been uh that you've been bred to fucking feel they use concepts such as freedom and choice to sell you things that end up limiting your actual fucking freedom in your real life whether it be being able to unionize so you can fight for better wages and fight for better benefits okay or even healthcare, something as simple as fucking health care And if you are frothing at the mouth and salivating when you look at Norwegian countries, Norwegian countries, Nordic countries, European uh, like countries in Europe, and and uh, thinking like, look at how great their fucking system is. How does it work? You have to also recognize that like they're not even having a conversation about this. Okay. As a European, how did the U.S. become this fucked up? Or has it always been this fucked up? It's always been this fucked up. 
to go back to the drawing board in this regard is to describe to you the very basic function uh, or the basic, very basic way that capitalism works, okay? Or wage labor works. And I've done this uh, on Andrew's podcast and I've done this time and time again, but I will repeat myself as I always do. If you ever worked in retail or if you ever worked in any job whatsoever, okay, you will recognize a few things. You as the worker want to work the least amount of times for the most amount of pay. That makes sense. Totally reasonable. That's your goal. That's you want to get the least amount of work for the most amount of pay. Your boss, your business owner, or your manager that is uh, demonstrating and expressing the interests of your business owner wants you to work the most amount of times for the least amount of pay. They want to be able to get away with paying you as little as possible. Okay? Do you understand? So the problem in this circumstance is that when you work, 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 and you generate profits for your company, okay? When you make more money for your company than you are paid, that money automatically goes into the pockets of the owners and those who have decided, the, the owners together have decided are going to get the money. So there's a, there is a trickle up effect of wealth. Uh, there's a distribution of wealth that trickles upward, okay? What they do with that wealth is up to them. They can do whatever the fuck they want. And in a lot of instances throughout history, those who had, uh, those who get all of that wealth turn around and create institutions that then tell you that this is the best fucking system possible. Uh, they, they create institutions that defend the legitimacy of this economic organization. Um, they, they fund the police department. They create the police department. They create a court system. Okay. You get it? So the only way that you can fight back against this is because there's so much wealth distribution uh, trickling upwards and, and uh, getting stuck at the top and it's normalized in its entirety. The only way that you could potentially demonstrate your interest is by bargaining together. Okay? And that is a union, my friends. A labor union. Okay? Because if your bosses get to decide what you do, if your bosses get to decide what you do in your workplace all the time, and they do, and they decide how much of the profits get back to you, trickle down to you, and what kind of benefits you can have, and that gets worse and worse every single year because it's becoming more competitive for you to even work at that shitty fucking retail job. Okay? The only way that you can push back, and I will use uh, Wall Street Bets terminology for this, is apes together strong. Okay? The only way you can push back against that is by getting together and saying, well, without us, you have nothing. Without us, sorry, boss, I know that you put in all this money and you're assuming all of this risk, but without labor, you will have no value. Without us working to generate profits for you, you have nothing. Okay? And to demonstrate the power that you have, you have what is known as work stoppages or a strike. Because if your boss turns around and says, fuck off, you have no power even when you're together, fuck you, then you can actually show that power by stopping work. And when you stop work, all of a sudden the boss will recognize, holy fuck, we do not have, uh, we, we are not generating profits anymore, this fucking sucks. You can throw as much capital and as much risk at a sheet of metal, it will not become a car. Yep. Do you get it? Or do the French way and just blow up the machinery? Oh no, unions will engage in, in aggressive actions. Sometimes aggressive action is required 
Labor militancy is the reason why we do not have, okay, maybe not in America, but like in most places of the world, we do not have child labor. Labor militancy is the reason why we have uh, what is known as the weekend. Truth is most workers cannot afford not to work. No, I, I know. I know that. That's the kind of the point. It is a, it is a death spiral, basically. You understand? Anyway, worse than having no union is a contract temp staffing agency to employ you for only three months a year with absolutely no benefits, no guarantee for full-time employment while they get paid usually double whatever low ball wage they offered. And then you do get hired on full-time, all that time wasted employment. Employed under the temp company doesn't count as time you use you working. Yes, we also need unions to protect us from abuse of power beyond financial gain. A, a co-worker of mine quit because she was being sexually harassed by a supervisor abusing his power and nothing was done. Exactly. I'm not going to sit here and say unions are perfect. But in the current economic organization in which we exist under, unions are the best you have. Yes, for 2069, I know I have currently a 42,069 subs which is 42069 poggers that's the sex number and the weed number haha -ha. oh oh yeah, yeah i forgot to fucking mention strike funds sorry yeah workers can't afford to not work that's why when you strike normally the member fees you've paid into the union will support you during strikes and the likes that's why we say medicare for all is a huge huge deal for unions because that's like an automatic strike fund you don't have the fear that like you might not get health care if you are striking for an extended period of time. That's another way that unions uh, deal with that problem. Get it? Dishonest talking points will always be stronger than the great argument you put out. You can't package the argument you just made into a 10 second commercial. You can. Ape together strong. Boss bad. Rich man bad. Poor man good. Ape together strong. There you go. People have done it before. I mean, a very common, a very common sentiment is, is a really good way to express everything I just said is, um, United bargain, united we bargain, divided we beg. The issue with right to work loss tackle isn't even membership in a union. It's whether union dues can be charged to non-union members where they get benefits. They were negotiated by the union in a collective bargaining agreement, making it infinitely easier for businesses to undercut the CBA by hiring the non-union rate and draining union resources. The civil rights argument is completely nonsensical. Yeah. I used to work for an alcohol company while a strike was going on at the adjacent distributor. It was truckers and they were absolutely harassing the shit out of other scabs and making them dump beer left and right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like I said, there is definitely a little bit of militancy in unions. That's, that's why, that's usually why we say cops are the ones who defend, uh, uh the, the interests of capital is that's when, when unions, when union, uh, members start uh, fucking over scabs on purpose. Then cops engage to defend the scabs. That's why people say, that's why I love to say cops are class traitors because cops themselves are fucking, uh, working class themselves. How do you counter that capitalist takes risks so they deserve a bigger share? I need to know. 
a risk assumed by a capitalist or a business owner is the exact same kind of risk that the fucking worker has, okay? But we never talk about the risk that the workers have. We only talk about the business owner. And the biggest risk of it all is that business owner turning into a worker themselves. Yeah. The largest risk that you have as a business owner is literally what? Rejoining the workforce and becoming a worker? So you understand how fucking bad it is. I got it. Okay, never mind. Bankruptcy law? Yeah, they don't fucking kill you when you, when you get bankrupt. You don't go to jail, brother. Starbucks is an easier path to unionizing than other fast food since they're not franchised. There needs to be a move in to help them and will help the rise of unions for other companies. I think part of the reason why it's hard for fucking Starbucks to uh, get employees to unionize is because from everything I've seen outside, um, uh, everything for, that I've seen from Starbucks, uh, is that uh, they actually do treat their employees uh, relatively decently in comparison to other uh, franchises. They do offer a fuckload of benefits from what I understand. Like, notorious for offering a fuckload of benefits to their, uh, to their workers. Hashtag ad? I mean, it's not... Dude, there's fucking baristas at Starbucks in my audience right now. They will probably back up what I'm saying. They offer healthcare. They offer fucking education costs. Costco is another one too. Like there, there are a couple companies. Not saying that they're good. They're still exploitative. It's they're capitalists, obviously. But in comparison to the other, uh, in comparison to the other fucking places, like in comparison to the other workplaces, especially in America. Uh, in, in similar fields, they are doing a lot uh, more for their workers. <laughs> Former Starbucks employee here, the job itself works, but the benefits and pay are insane. It's really competitive to work there now. Anyway, um, speaking, of, uh, speaking of my workplace obligations, ironic because I'm talking about Amazon's anti-union blitz. And also the ads that they're playing on the fucking platform. It's top of the hour every hour. It's time for a 60 second ad break. Hey, maybe if you're uh, tuning in from Alabama, you'll see one of these ads that I'm about to run on the other side. Um, if you would like to uh, no longer see the ads, all you need to do is subscribe. You can do it for $5 or you can do it for free with a Twitch Prime subscription by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account to get one free Prime subscription a month. But uh, here is the ad. The 60 second ad now. No. We at the Birmingham. Amazon is running a second ad on Twitch in Alabama. Let's see what this one is. To be a union rep in Los Angeles at International Airport. And they don't do nothing but take your money. They just take your money. And they don't do anything for you. I would keep what Amazon got. I love it. Yeah, I want to make my career here. I don't need the union. I'm going to vote no. I think the union coming in here would be devastating. We're all one. Let's get it done. I, I love that, like, this notion is that, like, okay, here's the thing. This notion that, like, <laughs> it's very good use of language where they make it seem like the union is an outside force and not literally the workers themselves organizing. Okay, like that's the fucking greatest take here is that like Amazon, your corporate overlord that is literally designed as an authoritarian state in and of itself and has pretty much the power of a literal fucking state is actually your friend and your family, whereas the union that is only uh, created and formed by the fucking workers and with like an outside uh, uh, consultant offering you guidance and help and uh, union dues that they're taking away from you so that 
you know, you will have strike funds and and uh, power to be able to uh, power to be able to fight back in in times when you're getting fucked over. Um, those guys are the outside sources. They make it seem like it's an outside regulation over the workers. Yeah. Third partying the union is a classic union busting tactic. Yup, yup, yup. How many people are corporate office workers and how many are pickers at the fulfillment center? You can still find a a a, 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 a person who is literally working in the front lines have this sort of take because crabs in a bucket, American individualism, like it's it's completely it's uh completely fucking ingrained in the American identity. talking about i don't know but he's got a megaphone we will dismantle oppression board by board we'll saw the foundation of big business in half even if it takes literally wearing a shirt of a union worker wait me am i i, I don't know who made this did you make this oh the guy in the video was Pretty based. When I was a teenager working at Walmart, they had anti-union videos in the training class. They taught us never to give out our signature to the union and that they were stealing our money. I believe this bullshit when I was younger is total brainwashing. Yeah. One of my favorite anti-union takes is, uh, dude, what are you doing? Just like your union dues mean a PlayStation, bro. Are you fucking stupid? Like, just buy a PlayStation, which is again the perfect American fucking identity, dude. Instead of instead of taking away some of your fucking uh, hard-earned dollars that your bosses are fucking taking from you and giving it to a giving it to a fucking organization that's going to fight for your rights um that that will allow you to organize effectively and get better benefits for yourself and shit like that just spend it on immediate consumer uh immediate consumption come on come on come on just just fucking don't be stupid you can buy an amazon uh, i mean you can buy an amazon you can buy a fucking playstation come on come on come on come on are you stupid don't do that Yeah, forget about your fucking labor rights and just buy a fucking PlayStation, you stupid fuck. Do you think it's possible to form a baseline safety net for one of those communities to local organizing, helping out with the threat of uh, losing work? Um, maybe. But not really. The best union we had here was that, uh, that of the metallurgical industry in the 80s. They totally stopped the production of cars in the interior of Sao Paulo for the fight for better working conditions. It was from this movement that Brazil's best president emerged at the end of the dictatorship, Lula. How does someone pay their union dues? Does it come out of the paycheck directly? Uh, I don't know. I think you just, I, I think you just pay the union directly. I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh, it comes out of your paycheck? Never mind. Yep, they take mine out of my check, but you do get a lot of benefits. Of course. The union takes your first two children and brands them easy payment. Oh, see opinions on cum stacking. I did not Google it. I have no idea what the fuck it is. But the business owner invests their money into the company so it fails, they lose their money and their job. Workers don't invest any of their money into the company so it fails, they just lose their job. Yeah, but they're workers because they don't have the fucking capital, brother. So they're destined to a lifetime of work. When a boss fucking loses their money, now they're back to square one where they have to become workers as well. That's the fucking point. That's the irony. Is that a boss, an owner, knows how bad it is to be a fucking worker. 